Hi, I'm Keith Cotter and welcome to the HSB Academy tutorial session. In this session we're going to continue on with the HSB Design version 24 What's New. And what's new with the Wall Detail Builder, we're going to see what has been enhanced in the Wall Detail Builder. And we're also going to take a look at our Painter and see what is being added to V24 to make this even easier to use again. So the first thing I want to take a look at here is the wall detail builder. And we're going to first of all take ourselves into the detail builder in itself. The first thing that I want to draw your attention to is under the connection details. And you can see here for the connection detail, up till now, whenever you're defining a connection, there can be sometimes a situation where you do not need to have a certain connection visible because the condition between the, the group connection will never actually physically be possible. Well, what we now have is the ability to be able to toggle that visibility off. So it removes it from the list. So as you continue on down, you can actually physically remove any of the connections that will never physically possible to happen. Of course, you can toggle that uh, visibility at any moment and see what you essentially have turned off. Next thing I want to draw your attention to is under wall type, you know that we are able to add our sheeting to each of the zones on our wall. And when we edit a sheet, we can now add a sheet catalog. So all your inventory of sheets can be added in here. So for example, if I want to add a sheet material called gypsum, and I'm going to say the length is 2400. And we're going to say here, we're going to say it's 1200 and the thickness is going to be 12. And I save that. What it essentially means now is that I have my inventory of sheeting and at any stage I can access it and ensure that I'm using the same sheeting material in each case here. So I'm going to save that change now and say OK to that. Next we head into the header and custom detail and up till now it wasn't possible to use decimal points in terms of defining the uh, beams that are in a header or custom detail. And you can see here that currently we have the ability now to take a header. And if I set that to a fixed value and change that to 150.5, it will now accept that particular value. Probably just one further thing as well, in case you're not aware of it, we now have the ability to separate header from custom detail and you can define your custom details also separately to your header detail in this case. Another nice addition is we've often had and we listened to you was when we closed the detail editor in the past it didn't prompt you to save your changes and often if you hadn't forgotten to save your changes you could have potentially lost it whereas now you're prompted to save your change and you can say yes or no in this case. And the last thing I want to draw your attention to is sheet rotation. And here what we have is currently an opening that's 1500 millimeters wide. And I have a sheet that is going to be 1200 mil wide. And currently if we frame this particular wall as it is today, rightly so, the sheeting of 1200 will be here and here. But most manufacturing scenarios what they like to be able to do is take the length of this particular sheet and physically rotate that sheet around so that it's a full sheet above and below the window. If you want that ability, you can go to the settings of HSB CAD. And in here, if you go to the wall stick frame module and pick this particular button here, it will prompt you for a reserved use if you use HSB as the key in here and under the flip sheeting if I change this to one and say okay you will now see that when I frame the wall once more it now rotates the sheet above and below the window. Now I'm going to go back again to settings once more uh, back to that option and I'm going to switch it back around because there is also a second way you can also do this and that is 
you can up here on the flip sheeting just change that back to zero and frame it once more and reverts it back to the original now under the tsl manager if we got the tsl select i'm going to use this particular tool called window flip sheet which is a tsl if you don't have that here you can find it under the search and if you go into the keyword search here you will be able to find that and import it into the session here why did i have that because if i now edit that particular wall and i go to element tsl and i go and i add that particular tool called flip sheet which is window flip sheet and say so okay to this and finally okay what we now have done is we've added the TSL tool called flip sheet so that on generation it will automatically rotate that sheet and that is a, a scenario of generational TSL in this case. So that will conclude the, the main changes that we have in the wall detail builder. I'm now going to flip over into another drawing here and what I'm going to show you is a nice uh, example that we have currently with the painter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add here a, a new collection and I'm going to call it CLT hit return. I'm going to add that in here to this and I'm going to call it a uh, panel and I'm going to select this particular rule that we have here and we're going to add a filter in this case so i'm just going to remove this okay so i'm going to now add here a new name painter so i'm going to call it a clt panel i'm going to hit return and i'm going to call this a style i'm going to select it from here so that it picks up a panel as a selection and this is the new feature that i want to show you and that is we are now making the and and the or uh, querying a little bit more visible so in the first case here i want to filter on the style of the panel and i'm going to say it has to contain a particular type of style and i'm going to say that the height in this case here so if i say the height of this needs to be equal to 100 and i apply it and i say okay and if i apply this you can now see that it finds the criteria of the filter in this case and now if i go and edit this painter definition you'll see that it's making the brackets in the query uh, highlighted so that it's easier to ensure that you have equal brackets in each of the filter query furthermore you can also come in here and also do an edit and do some further editing of the query in this case so that concludes this session. I'm going to focus next on some of the general HSP design features that are, are possible in version 24. So hope to see you in the next session. I'm Keith Cotter. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in future sessions.